Okay, uh, welcome back, everyone. We're back! Okay, so first I off... Just, I still love Gaunt, even though he's probably the one responsible for killing someone here. I love his outfit. Would you I take a look at the switchblade knife? No, what the it... one I gave you? And yeah. should have he stabs it right in his chest. Back? Huh. Oh, right! You stabbed me as Rice, like, bleeding out. Oh, so you had to see that. Oh, uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Oh, you see over there? That's Detective Goodman's desk. You wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. You know, like something It took hidden. away every last piece of garbage in that trash can. So nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here, apart from his computer files, probably. Of course not, except for this. Thanks! <laughs> you kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even have- uh, he didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report that's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose some- his ID? The date on it is February 21st. So it was the day of the murder, so that is kind of a note. Man! That's something really important. It's his ID, isn't it? Well, he should be getting back to investigating the uh, police department crime scene. Uh. What is it? Can we see? Okay, Bruce Goodman, ID number. And five. he doesn't have it, so he can't. He can't like... even remember his own ID number. Well, which means it was the one he lost. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty hard. <laughs> You know, it'd be really great if he just like scribbles out ID and he goes, I'm lost, ID. <laughs> this is what's lost. Okay. And he was... Kind of want to try this. So I was wondering if you could take a look at this. Aw, oh, sorry, Rado. I'm through with that stuff. Through, I say. I'm going vegan. <laughs> <laughs> to find that guy who can't seem to sit still out there. The biz the busy one. The guy who can't sit still. Does he mean Detective Gumshoe? Either him or the dancing blue badger outside. Okay. We understand. We're supposed to give it to him instead? And then not have it for Everything's just so very suspicious. Look, a door! It must mean something. Not sure all doors mean something. Yeah, we've already addressed this. Uh... Miles? Well, this place is as classy today as it was yesterday. I'm sure we'll still be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edward doesn't appear to be here. We can root around through his personal files. I'm sure he was off doing important investigations and not in on a hearing that I could decide his fate for the rest of his life. I hope that's what he's doing. Wait. <laughs> I guess we'll have to come back and ask him later. We can't examine it for blood? Uh, no. I don't really need to. Okay. 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 Let's go back. There it is, permission to enter. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hum, well, I never thought the day would come when Rado asked me for help. Yeah, I was wondering if we could, you know, investigate the evidence room. Not on your life. Don't now, Rado. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate after all. 
Rado, please, do I look like a selfish man? Huh? I'll kill you in your car instead. Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50, I'd give them $50, no problem. I'd expect interest, of course. So go ahead. Investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show you never know until you ask him. And for you here, you can borrow this. Uh, hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. I yes, sir. It's an honor. You just run along now and do your best. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. <laughs> it looks so... It looks pretty cool on my lapel, doesn't it? Just to think. A real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir. Because, sir, we get to go into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. I think Gaunt is a bad influence on her. Okay, the evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Cheap Gone. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Ah, uh, yeah, the card reader's turned off, see? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. partners. Well, what made my bombina so, um, bombina ska so great? Welcome to show up right when we probably shouldn't have you here. Officer Marshall? Why does it have to be him? Have you seen the room? What was that? Why does it have to be him work for? As you may have surmised, this here is my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw, that card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge here in these parts. Yeehaw? Yeah, was... well, uh, yeah, you standing there, um, for getting along, you little doggies. The crime scene's a wait. No, no, doggies. No, it's an English word, so he's pronouncing it correctly. No, it should still be pronounced wrong. He has to pronounce something wrong every sentence. Well, it looks like the card reader is on again. Uh, while we're here, I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Like the blood at the top of your cactus. Is that the blood of your enemies? Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you hombres. 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 That's better. Hombres. Because it's... Because you almost pronounced it right the first time, and we can't have that here. So you're busy then. Did I say that? I'm busy being drunk. I only said I didn't wish to speak to you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us. Hombres. I'm gonna guess that he is going to be quiet. I always check though. Yeah, it's probably good. Oh, so I was wondering if we could talk to you. Sorry, Bambina, but I'm off to roam the lands like a tumbleweed on the wild prairie. You like a gunslinger worst, loading guard. a six shooter, I say a little prayer. What was that all about, Mr. Wright? I think he was just too hungry to talk. You're just saying that because his stomach was growling. You have no idea what he was talking about either. Well, in any case, we have to get cracking on this investigation pronto. We have to feed him. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. Wow, my mouth is watering. I can almost hear the sound of steak frying on the grill three days ago. No doubt it's all cold and tough by now, like most Salisbury steaks. No, I'm sure it's delicious. Miss Star poured her heart and to make this. Why don't you then pour any other organs in there? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I had to show that before I actually like sent it off to him. Just saying. That smell. 
Oh, reminds me of Texas. I fail to see how it re would remind you of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas. No, I'm from Nagasaki. <laughs> reminds me of lovely Nagasaki. <laughs> you can't even pronounce any words correctly. No, I saw a special on the television the other day. Is this from my baby? Oh, uh, yeah, Miss Star. She sent us to deliver it. What's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see, I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. It was, it was a signal. Right, Bombina, you win. I almost I, want no, him uh, suddenly to I was gonna to think you want. Uh, yeah, finally, seems he seems like he's willing to talk. Yeah, like he's willing to talk. Oh, was that Phoenix of Life? No. Officer, oh, Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room. You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins is at the detention told us. Ah, uh, that poor little doge. Poor guy. He keeps um getting his name wrong. I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. Yeah, he told us something about... Yeah, he told us something. You know, you mispronouncing his name does not feel out of place. Now that we have uh, done all of this. <laughs> now that we've had the rotting gag of him constantly pronouncing words wrong. Yeah, he said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but since I got demoted from detective two years ago, I'm, well, I might not look it, but I lost my file for the job, you know. That makes sense. So what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was gobbling down the highway on the back of my steed zippy. Now, was it a motorcycle or was it an actual horse? <laughs> no, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here anyhow. There's newfangled machines to a bang up job at keeping an eye on the place. Oh, you mean to the security system? I don't like machines much. Kinda like that stewed broccoli they um they sneak next to your steak. You the know? broccoli is the best part of the steak. Has, steamed but broccoli is especially good. Especially with cheese. Raw with... broccoli is even better. I have to disagree. Unwashed, straight out of the ground broccoli is really great. That's just dirt. You're 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 eating. Man, I love eating dirt. <laughs> I can't tell if you're serious or not. Miss <laughs> Star told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago, and then you and then you got the sack. Oh, it was all my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. Well, you're in the wrong Well, century. it's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. Uh, uh, um, and she just short circuits and it's like, uh, So, you're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It was all solved on the record book, but it smells like a bad game of poker. Probably because it was played like one, too. I can't let it go. And that's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyways? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. There were some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. It's police corruption. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago, the day of our case? That's right. The evidence transferals. Ah, oh, Edward was talking about the transferals too. So, could you actually explain the whole transferals thing was about? Where you keep only the evidence from the solved cases in this room. And they're kept here under the presiding detective supervision for two years. So, we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So, what happens after the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the county sheriff's department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every Feb February. Were you about to say Friday? No. 
I see now. I know I didn't pronounce February um, incorrectly. February is spelled February. Uh, Detective Marshall, uh, I think you're reading it wrong. Detective Goodman was trying to steal the knife. Transferal is like a funeral for all the cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. <laughs> and so that's what happened with that's all nine. Two I didn't years ago. The DL six and then dead. Well, yeah, it was actually in cold storage for a while, remember? That's where they transferred it to. Okay. I know what maybe two machines in here do. Only two of them. There must be like a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, the yeah, machines, well, uh, I like them as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. That's even better with cheese. The easiest one to understand are here. The security cameras. Uh, those are the ones Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tips are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. So you're the security guard and you reckon it. One more thing. One more thing. When you go to the evidence room, you need an ID card. That's the card reader by the door. Yeah. Card reader leaves a record of every ID that passes through. How'd he get in without an ID? So someone had the ID number of Lucky Sevens. So it's... So this is the Do ID card it? record. I've seen that, uh, that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina, but I can't show you any more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright? I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. One, five, eight, four. Also gonna just say I like the fact that, like, he's like, five, nine? No, that's not it. Wait. Someone else said 5-9 when they were saying a number. One sign. No, I think I'm thinking of a little bit too hard into that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it was the judge. Yeah, I think it was the judge too. Maybe there's some way I can prove that the record is tied to the stabbing. Pressing the wrong things. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Uh, the one that was in on the ground in the online parking um, in the underground parking lot. Yeah, the number is five eight four two one eight nine. Off Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. You mean record? Mm -hmm. Five eight Red four um. Five eight four two one eight uh, one eight nine. Look. Five four fourteen p.m. We have a death time. Oh my gosh. What? We do not have a death time. Okay. So think about this. So imagine. Mm -hmm. Five, um, 450, the one right before it. Um, this is going to confuse the case so much. Okay, it was used at 514 right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the whole world. So when the... Yeah. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. So wait, what did Officer Meekin say? I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So you asked him to show him his ID, what do you do? That's the thing, suddenly you pointed a knife at me. 
If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Alright, Comp Andre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. We're gonna need this. Okay, I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Okay, are you ready for the thing that I have now cracked on the case? Yeah. Sheriff's back in the wild ranch didn't place much faith in evidence. No. And it's the only thing they trusted better than shoot. Um, this is neither wild nor west here. Aha, uh -huh, you... but that uh, and uh, this are two different things. I, I guess so. Oh, I'm lost. It looks like we need some evidence to get anywhere with this guy. Okay. So, Bruce Goodman. Mm-hmm. Loses his ID. Okay. So, Officer Meekins shows up at 4.50. We know that it's his because he clocked in right afterwards. See how the two mm -hmm. numbers are the same? Mm-hmm. Someone using Bruce Goodman's ID card comes in. Mm -hmm. They are dressed as Bruce Goodman, but they don't uh, but they don't want to show the card because it would be obvious that they have different faces. Mm -hmm. Because Mickin doesn't know him. Yes. There are then two other numbers. Lucky Sevens and um, 8730. And uh, that flashback picture Angel gave us in her backstory about why the SL9 incident is so important. There's somebody else in the picture. Yeah. Bottom left. Wearing a fedora, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So before we actually go in there, how about we run around and actually, like, see what all the other numbers are? Mm-hmm. Oh, I had to see that. I've already been here. Oh, that's weird. Ah, so this is the police mascot, is it? Yeah, it's the Blue Badger, the future star of the police force. The design's a little changed from the one on the outside. Oh, yeah, well, the Dancing Badger TM is still under development, you see. You have it trademarked? Absolutely, it's cutting edge stuff, like, very now. To trademark stuff for the batter. I showed this doll here to my toddler and, taught her and she burst into tears. Yeah, don't show her the moving mock of outside and you'll give her nightmares. Aww. Poor Gumshoe, he's just doing his best. Must be one of the detectives, he's mumbling something to himself. I know, the killer used a cassette tape. What a crafty trick. That gunshot was fake. Mm. This is good. No one will suspect a cassette tape on this day and age. He's not writing a report, he's writing a novel. <laughs> That's the case right there. Okay, Officer Meekins, we're gonna present uh, this to you. Uh, could you take a look at this? Oh, sorry, sir, but I have no idea what that is. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edwards, sir. He's packing, he's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. A special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. Yeah, typically only um, Gumshoe can do something like that. Yeah, I figured she wouldn't have a, a valid number anymore. And he's gone. We can't look around the office for blood? We are, in fact, going to do that. I was actually expecting it, by the way. I was actually expecting some blood on the, uh... On the, uh, books there. Would make sense for there to be blood on those books. And also blood on the, uh... On the coat. He comes into the room and is like, why did you spray alcohol all over, all over my place?
Ah. Uh... Hmm. You know, I'm starting to think that we weren't supposed to go around yet. I think we were supposed to actually go inside the room first. Okay. Huh, it's quiet. The investigation must be over there. So this is the evidence room. It's really kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to be... Uh, it's supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. That'd be... Eh, nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. Someone is squeamish. I've been trapped in. Uh! I've been trapped in here for days. Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. Uh, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend going smacking ghosts on the head bow. Uh, so was it true of what I heard? Gumshoe is always so concerned about Miles, probably because Miles is the only thing allowing him to keep his job. After all these years. Yeah, it's true. So Chief of Police Gaunt will loan anyone 50 bucks, even me? <laughs> so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was gonna put in a charge, um, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for the day? Boss for a day. Oh, uh, but guess what? You got permission from the Chief, so you're the boss for the day. I'm out. Okay, Gumshoe, we need your ID. Do Gee, you have thanks. the so Do you have the sevens? By the way, did you realize what's over there? Uh, the fishing rod. It's the um. Oh. It's the uh. Yeah, it's the stuff that um. Or it's a car door. No, no, it's the fishing rod, the metal detector, and the um dog summoning device. Uh huh. From uh from the previous case. Uh. First of all, you're gonna want to have this. Okay. What is that? I want to see it now. Okay, allow me to see one spin. Think I'm speaking as a detective. If I see a piece of evidence, I know nothing about it, I'll say nothing. But you gave it to us. Can we look at it? Yeah. <laughs> so the entire reason why they give you this piece of paper is so it will mark down where the blood is. Okay. There should be blood all over this place. Okay. Instantly, it comes up that there's blood here. Why am I getting a reaction here? Probably because someone was stabbed. Yeah, there's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. Might just be so, um, something might be something significant. Hey, um, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminal testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I bought it. Uh, I, I would like some, too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where, where did you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. I better jot this down on the floor plans. Okay. Just making sure. Is there anything by the door? There should be. No. There is no handprint on the door. That's suspicious. And there's something sticking out of there as well. Yeah, we're going well, to we'll investigate come back that. to that. The other half of the uh, handprint. Lana. Lana and Meekins were both here. I knew it! This is someone's right hand print. What? What's the matter, Detective? Th this locker, it's mine. It's yours? Please. Uh, you have to help me when they come to take me away. Promise me that you'll testify and you won't, that I wouldn't harm a fly. Yeah, well, that is true. They'll do that for me, won't you, pals? Abs in a heartbeat. Well, this is an important clue, so we're gonna just drop down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you, Pat. Like, guys, believe me, you can't trust the police. What? <laughs> but you're a detective. <laughs> now, the area that should be coated in blood here. 
looks like someone was repainting this area. No, yeah. There's where there was a stabbing. That must be one of the massive pools of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. Maybe Goodman is vampire now. <laughs> this proves that something really happened in front of this locker. Someone was killed here. Gotta make a uh, note of all the floor plans. Hey, if you don't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. That's fair. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else. Can we go on? Are we not allowed to go over? Okay. And look, there's blood. What? Oh yeah, that one's purely visible though. It's the only piece of blood that was actually visible. Okay, so we basically reached the end of our rope. How about we take it um, next time? Yeah. We'll finish uh, looking at this place and we're going to probably go into the beginning of uh, the trial. Yeah. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Bye.